You can never really tell by looking at somebody what their dog might look like. Take us, for example. Polar opposites. <sighs> this is a challenge called Match the Dog to Their Owner by Cut. We ask strangers to match dogs to their owners. I personally feel like I'm gonna be really good at this, and I personally feel like this is gonna be fun for us to play along, so we're just gonna go ahead. I'm a bartender and a filmmaker. My name is Madison. Uh, my name is Shakira, and... Good name. Name. Approved! Kinda, yeah. <laughs> okay, why are they trying to scare him? He's about to do the most fun job in the history of mankind. I was asked if I'm allergic to anything, uh, so I wasn't sure what element that added to it. Oh. Yeah. Are there <laughs> dogs? <laughs> oh, Cute. How's it going? Hi. Oh, I can't wait to guess what kind of dogs they all have. Okay, so she and us have to match the dog who comes out to one of these six people. How fun. I'm so good at that. <laughs> dogs always look like their owners. I don't like how they're all wearing dark colors. Like these guys look like they all hang out in the same group. I kind of wish that there was more variance in the people, but whatever. <laughs> oh. Cute. Chip looks like he's probably a couch cuddler. He's a little sausage shaped. He'll do anything for a treat, it looks like. You look like you'll do anything for a treat. Jabroni. Okay. Jabroni? This is definitely not Jabroni's dog. This is like a little sweetheart, potentially a rescue. This is somebody who has a lot of time to put into training. So this is somebody who like really, you know, has a good look, really put together. Um, I need more information. What do you like to do on the weekends? Uh, I like to hang out with my dog. He looks like he might sit on the couch as often as this dog does. Stop, why, why are they being so mean to Jabroni? Justice for Jabroni, he didn't do anything and this definitely isn't his dog. Like this guy likes large breeds, for sure. There's no way he's got a tiny little dog like this. Okay, wrong. Oh, oh, oh. The dog's not going with him. I knew it! Ah! Okay, so the dog wants to stay with the female. It's a hard no. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I also feel like she like she's kind of cool and kind of edgy, so she might have like a different kind of dog. Maybe her? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, is it Frenchie? So like he's kind of pulling on the collar. Oh, maybe it's her. Th this dog's like, please, I do not belong here. Somebody help me, please. Walter, what's up, Walter? Hi. Okay, so I'm sorry, this is cheating, but this is her dog. Let's focus on this beautiful, oh, what is this, a Frenchie? We are a very fashionable dog, Walter. This looks like a very fashionable, very expensive. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go with the young lady on the end here. That that makes sense, that makes sense. That makes sense, I'd do that too. I think the owner's a dad. Why? I don't know, he's very persistent. And men are usually persistent when, when they want something. Okay, that has nothing to do with what dog you would own. Like this dog loves me, and therefore I'm gonna pick poor Jabroni. Every single time Jabroni is getting owned. Uh, I'm actually a dog trainer. Are you? Yeah. That dog wants model, nothing to do with somebody, him. Like, at least in my mind, that's a young urban professional at the moment. Cute little puppy. I think it looks so good in selfies, so. And decision? Yeah. No! You're gonna be terrible at this game, but I don't care. The puppies are so cute. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Ooh, this is really hard, actually. Oh, that is a, that's a butte from butte. What type of person would own this beautiful collie? Like, I wish that we could know if it was a rescue or not. I feel like for a rescue, it could be like a, any number of dogs. Whereas if these are like breeder dogs, then I feel like I, I could have like a more accurate guess. Except it is a good thing if they are rescue dogs. I feel like she's trying to look away because it's obviously her dog. But she also looks like she would own a very, like, th like these two look intense intelligent together. But I already put this guy with her. I think it's hers. She looks like she's got a lot of stuff going on. Like it looks like she's got like a, a heavy social life and that she could use a smart dog that is easy and just good to be around and social and all that good Here, stuff. He looks like he's got caring mm -hmm. eyes and I think- Absolutely not, like but okay. Somebody like that. Actually, I could see like, this I guy's kind of like a Terry and I could see Terry with this dog. That looks like- your dog. I agree. Um, she looks Christian. Stop. Okay, let's not let's not say like let's not do this. We can't do this right now. All right, let's bring out our next dog. Oh my gosh! Hi. Oh, okay. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, wait. This one's name. Jack. This guy's dog Jack. just came in. His dog just came in. His dog. Oh, I think that's a bit of a giveaway. <gasps> oh, maybe not. Weird. What do people think about this type of dog? They're rough. Mean. Ooh, They're gorgeous. You're mean and rough. <laughs> yeah. So, whoa. Nani? Ooh, what's wrong with these people? Okay, so I think it's his dog. I'm not gonna waver. It might be her dog, but 
At first glance, this is what, he's a power breed and either of these people look like they can handle a power breed, to be honest with you. That's why I don't think that this, that this is a good match. I feel like she could definitely handle like with the camo, like I feel like she's feeling it. I feel like he's feeling it too. These guys could be a couple together and have this dog. This looks like a tough, tough bitch. Please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and he's just really waggy and yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Moose. Oh, 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 that's oh a beauty. It's a little scared. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, um, I think we found it could be it could be either. <laughs> she was a little bit apprehensive when she reached her hand out to pet that dog. <laughs> she was a little nervous. That's not her dog. This is this is her dog. Thank you for that. <laughs> that's definitely Moose's mom. I'm gonna go with the uh, the young woman right here with the shawl on. He doesn't know about all these dogs. Let's see. Wow, that's oh, a no, jumpy, no, nervous dog. I don't know. She seemed a little, a little shy. This is definitely your mama, Moose. It is, huh? That's a little embarrassing for me because I was saying like she would do like a power breed owner. If this dog is actually her dog, then she raised a very kind of nervous dog. But maybe it's a rescue. Who knows? Oh, you are so cute, Leo. Oh, Leo's personality is very. Oh, it's her dog. Nope, it's her dog coming through. Because I wanted this to be her dog, right? Okay, yeah, this is her dog. <laughs> the little ducks and oh, oh my goodness, these are so adorable. I, I'm obsessed with these. 100%, 100%. Like, look at her. This is a designer, expensive dog. That's not to say that it makes it better, but she looks like she would be like, I'm gonna buy this dog of my dreams. I'm gonna save up. I'm gonna do this. She looks playful. Oh, oh, oh. I think I got that one right. <laughs> she's very petite and so is Leo. And I feel like she's petite, so Leo has a petite mama. No, this is Frenchie. <laughs> Mocha, hi Mocha. Oh. What kind of dog is this? Do you know? The poodle mix. The poodle mix? Yeah, not, not pure Oh, okay. How do you know that? Because I mean, <laughs> you're the mama? I think Mocha probably goes to a pet salon, maybe like <laughs> twice, or, twice a month. Yeah, I, 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 I like this one. <laughs> I like this match. That's your dog. I agree with it. <laughs> Right. This is the, the final th that I think. This girl's dog is the Frenchie. This girl's dog is, I agree with this. This guy's dog is the, uh, what is this? Like this kind of pit bull thing. This is a good match. This is a good match. And, oh, I don't know actually, maybe. <laughs> oh, this is Jabroni's dog. She doesn't own the Frenchie. I suck at this. I did way better than I thought I did. <laughs> oh, this guy's just wrong. And I feel like me and this guy agree on a lot of things. Well, we definitely agree on this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, completely 100% wrong. Yep. Right, let's have the dogs match up with their owners. <laughs> Oh. Okay, let's see what we were right about here. What? Okay, so I definitely, I wouldn't have, I, I don't remember if I put these two together. I definitely thought that this guy would have a big dog. This girl, I thought that she would have a power breed, but she's got this shy, skittish dog. I like this match. I put it together. I put this together. I would have never guessed. This makes sense. So, oh. I'm ready to meet all the Yeah. Yes, we're ready to meet all the That was a solid, <laughs> solid guess. My dog only understands, like, Chinese commands. Oh, cute. Oh. <laughs> That's a good way to have your dog only obey you. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Did I get you right? You actually did. I did, yeah. wow. How long have you had Riley? 12 years. 12 is wow. old, right? Wow, old. That's super for a Yeah. How did you get your dog? My mom wanted to breed collies, and so that's how he ended up in our family. He ended up taking her own life. But oh, no. I still had him, so he was always there for me. Oh. He's in my bed when I'm sick. I get oh. to give him a hug when I'm sad. Oh my gosh, her voice is so like nervous. It's making me nervous. I feel like these two like have similar energy. The poor things. I'm glad they keep each other happy. Uh, Jack has definitely also settled down in your presence. <laughs> what kind of dog is this? He's actually an American Staffordshire Terrier. Really? Oh, okay, I would have never known. Okay. He's, he's actually a service dog. Gorgeous. So, really? Yeah, oh, nice. He's task trained to help me with my God, my I love PTSD the bone anxiety. structure on Mostly these guys. Mostly he'll like guide me through spaces that if I get agoraphobic in, uh, he'll do, he can do like, <laughs> light switches and the electronic door handles. I've never seen this breed be a therapy dog before and I think that's dope. But um, <laughs> like if I have a panic attack, he'll respond to that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, good boy, thank that's you. That's so oh. sweet. Good boy, Jack. I want a dog like that. Anjing, are you ready to be a therapy trained dog? Mm. He's asleep. 
Did I get you right? Yeah, you did. I did. I rescued him when he was a little puppy. I knew he, he was wasn't a rescue. going to be like purposely my therapy dog, but he did end up. I don't know. He just really helped me a lot. What makes an emotional support dog um, different from another service animal? So Moose kind of. Gosh, he, that is a beautiful. Look at the eyes on that thing. He's more of like a. He brings me comfort, and mm. so he knows when I'm like kind of anxious, like right now. <laughs> Only a certain percentage of dogs, I feel, can like really sense your emotions. Like, I feel like all of them can because a lot of them can like smell hormonal changes, but only some of them are like really in tune to it in an empathetic way, I feel. So you're always really lucky if you get a dog like that. There you are. You look much happier now, too. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a dog like that before. It's oh, so What's your favorite thing about Leo that you love a lot? He just loves me no matter what, and he's always there for me. He's he does like, have a lot of energy, though, oh. so I do have to take him out quite a bit. Well, he's got those short little legs, so all you have to do is like throw the ball a little ways, and you can wear him out. He'll get into anything or just do little wiener loops. Wiener loops. When I was little, I used to think that this breed was actually called, like scientifically called a wiener dog. Like that's what I thought that they were called. And one time I called this guy's dog, like this breed, a wiener dog, and he was so mad at me. It's a dog son. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. What's the story? What's the story with this guy? I've always wanted a French bulldog. I just kind of pulled the trigger on it because I was making decent money. They're not the cheapest dog in the world. Okay, so he's definitely not the jabroni all of us thought he was. Like, he's a very soft-spoken guy, and I feel like this is actually a pretty good pretty good dog for him after you've heard him speak. And last but not least, Chip. Oh. Same with these two. They're like oh, a rich I found him on dog. Craigslist. He was lost and almost got hit by a car and a family. Oh, he would be a rescue. I knew it. I think I was wrong about her dog a million times. I just needed something to kind of take the attention off of all my issues. Yeah. And so um, I just figured I would get a dog. It was just really great. The days when I didn't even want to get out of bed, didn't want to take care of myself, I knew that I had someone else to take care of. So even on my worst days, I was still able to get out of bed. That's so sweet. I feel like everybody should have a dog because they just bring so much joy and so much warmth into your home and they love you unconditionally. Some of them, not all of them. Some dogs, it might seem like they don't like you, but I feel like every dog just does love in a different way. Like Anjing, for example. I've definitely met more cuddly dogs than him. I've definitely met more physically affectionate dogs than him, but that doesn't mean that he loves me any less. He's just He's a shepherd, okay? He yeah, like definitely a, a couch potato. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Exactly. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Very good. Yeah, everybody should get a dog, but everybody when they get a dog should realize that they're getting a dog. You know what I mean? So if he's not doing exactly what you want him to do, that doesn't mean he's a faulty dog. It just means that you got a dog. Every dog's different. Every breed is different. Everything is different. And as long as you take the animal as it is, you're gonna have a good time. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.